The White House refrained from saying much Tuesday about the search carried out the day before by federal law enforcement agents at the private club and residence of former President Donald Trump in Florida. More from VOA's chief national correspondent Steve Herman in Washington. White House Press Secretary Corinne Jean-Pierre was reticent on Tuesday, responding to reporters' questions about the previous day's FBI search of Mar-a-Lago. The Justice Department conducts investigations independently, and we leave any law enforcement matters to them. Uh, It would not be appropriate for us to comment on any ongoing investigations. Trump, who was in New York at the time, characterized the search at his Florida property as an unannounced raid. This type of law enforcement action against a former president is unprecedented, according to Akron University political science professor David Cohen. In terms of presidents being criminally charged or even really investigated in a serious investigation, we just have no history of it in this country. There has been no comment from the FBI or the Justice Department, and the contents of the search warrant have not been revealed. Republicans in Congress are vowing to hold hearings about alleged political interference by the Justice Department if they take back control of either the House or Senate in November's midterm elections. Steve Herman, VOA News, Washington. Hours after denouncing the search as political persecution, former President Trump released a campaign-style video that may be the strongest hint yet that he plans to run against President Joe Biden in 2024. Trump also announced on his Truth Social account that he will testify under oath Wednesday in the civil investigation about his real estate dealings. Kenyans were waiting Wednesday for the results of a close presidential election where turnout was lower than usual. Ballot boxes from polling stations across Nairobi County were still being brought to a tallying center in the capital to be counted. Tuesday's vote was likely the final try by longtime opposition leader Ralia Odinga, who on his fifth attempt was backed by former rival and outgoing president Uhuru Kenyatta. The other top contender is Deputy President William Ruto, who fell out with the president earlier in their decade in power. Japanese Prime Minister Fumio Kishida has reshuffled his cabinet in a bid to distance his administration from the conservative unification church in the aftermath of former President Prime Minister Shinzo Abe's assassination. Abe was fatally shot last month while giving a campaign speech ahead of Japan's parliamentary elections. Police and media reports say the suspected gunman had targeted Abe over his possible ties to the Unification Church. The man was angry over his mother's massive financial donations to the church, which left her bankrupt. South Koreans are dealing with the aftermath of record-breaking rainfall. AP correspondent Charles de la Desma reports. Clean-up and recovery efforts have gathered pace in the greater Seoul region as skies cleared after rain had unleashed flash floods and killed at least nine people. Key workers bore sinkholes in an apartment neighborhood and removed flood-damaged cars from a parking lot. Seven people remain missing in the Greater Seoul area following the heavy rains that swamped the region on Monday and Tuesday, turning streets into car-clogged rivers, sending floods cascading into subway stations, triggering landslides that crashed into roads and buildings and displacing more than 1,800 people from their homes. I'm Charles de la Desma. A grand jury in the southeastern U.S. state of Mississippi Tuesday declined to indict the white woman whose accusations set off the lynching of black teenager Emmett Till in 1955. The grand jury determined there was insufficient evidence to indict Carolyn Bryan Dunham for kidnapping and manslaughter. Relatives told the AP Till had whistled at the white woman. Historian Timothy Tyson read the now 87-year-old Dunham's unpublished red memoir. Till's battered, disfigured body was found days later in a river. Till's cousin told the AP Dunham was, has not gone to jail, but in many ways he doesn't think she's had a pleasant life. And repeating our recapping our top story, the White House refrained from saying much Tuesday about the search carried out the day before on Donald Trump's Mar-a-Lago.
Hi, thank you for watching. I hope the videos are useful for you. Please subscribe to my channel using the button below.